Greetings. So if you want to provide access to an EPUB for your students, um, that's what this video is going to show you. And from a student's perspective, it's going to show you how to go ahead and download that. So there's two different components there, the student's perspective and then the instructor's perspective. Let's go ahead and start at the instructor's perspective. All they have to do is allow it, make it something that they are allowing their students to do. And it's pretty simple. So if they go ahead and jump into a course and go into that course's settings, that point then they'll go into feature options and they want to make sure that EPUB exporting is turned on. From this point forward the students will have that ability to download an EPUB of your course. And now let's just be clear that this isn't going to be the greatest quality often because it's just an automated process so there will be long spaces in between but it's going to be a much better product than anything else and it's going to be a whole lot easier than screenshotting every individual page or every individual module in a canvas course so as long as that's turned on and it looks like it already is for this course let's go ahead and look at another course to make sure it has that same option let's go into this project management course to feature options right now see this is turned off so you manually have to turn it on and you just have to go ahead and click this and now it's turned on for your students so let's go back to the dashboard and I'll act as if I'm a student if I'm a student and I know my instructors turned this on what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my account and I'm gonna select settings from there on the right hand side I can download course content I'm gonna select that and it's kind of a weird place to put it, but what that does is it's going to generate a list of courses that I can actually download. So the courses that the instructor has turned on to be downloadable, they will, they will pop there. And then you go ahead and click Generate EPUB. It's going to download it. It'll take a minute or two, and then you'll be able to open it up. Now it looks like once you've generated your EPUB, you get an email notification. So then you have the ability to regenerate it. So if new course content's been added, you can do that. Or you can go ahead and download that EPUB. I'm going to click Download. For this course, it's a 120 meg file, so it's rather large. Um, other courses might be smaller. And when it's done, it looks like this. There's a table of contents broken down by module, the modules that you've created, and then these are the different pages for it. So it's kind of nice as you can click on it and jump right into it. So here's an assessment that I created. I can click back to the table contents. Let's look at an instructional page. So here's an instructional page and I'm Scrolling to the to the left. Here's a podcast. Now, an issue here is the podcast isn't going to be listed here. Your videos aren't going to be here. Sometimes the links will work, so if you're on a computer, you can go directly there, but it's not always going to work like that. So if it's a video-heavy course, there may be some issues. Here's another example. This is a video, but in the in the GPA or the EPUB that was generated. It's not gonna. It's not gonna actually bring that video over. So here's just one of the downfalls of it. But as far as you know, instructional content, assessments, anything that's not video or audio, it's gonna be a good resource for you. So hopefully this works for you. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll help you out.